hi guys so story time i'm excited you can see from the title i got a job in one week of serious dedication at this point i was tired of my survival job and i was like you know what i'm not doing this again i'm going to get my job and it paid off i got a job so now if you're in canada i want to get a job and you've been trying and you're tired of survival jobs this is the video for you so keep watching so guys first things first i knew the kind of job that i wanted and i wanted job in administration because that's my forte that's what i'm very good at right i'm very good with administration so i knew that i don't want to do survival jobs no more and i wanted a mid-level role i didn't want like an entry level role right it's hard because of i mean no canadian experience so this is what i did and this is how i landed the job i revamped my cv I know that you must have heard this over and over and over again and you think oh maybe it's just a joke no it's not a joke revamp your cv so i made sure that what is on the job advert is what was on my cv i revamped my cv secondly <laughs> i left indeed because i felt like for some reason i felt like indeed was not doing anything for me indeed was wasting my time i went to linkedin now in linkedin i made sure that i was applying to jobs within two days of the job being posted that really helped me because it, me it means that you'll be part of the first persons to apply for that job do you understand so and it was hard because i can see like five jobs and i'll like them i'll be like okay these are the jobs i want to apply to today and i have to work on my cv five times make sure that what is on my cv is what is on the job advert five times and i was doing that every day and guess what within a week i got three good um interviews like charity want to interview you we we'll see your cv we like a cv guys it works it really works so that was how i was able to get an interview now to the main story guys it's not just getting the interview is how do you act during the interview so these are the things that worked for me i researched as in, so there was this, this particular company that I'm working with right now. I researched them like I was on their website. I was checking them, their latest achievement, their latest posts on LinkedIn, on their website. I was really informed about the company. So when it was interview time and they asked me questions about the company, guess what? I was answering them because I did my, I did my research. I know my onions and they were impressed because most of the applicants didn't, didn't even know much about aside the name of the company obviously they didn't know much about the company so they were actually very impressed then also confidence hey hey there is nothing like confidence i cannot overemphasize what confidence will do for you i'm a pretty confident person so why are you asking me questions because it's something that i know how to do i also did my research so i'm talking in like canadian terms i'm, I'm using the kind of words keywords that they need so that's another thing you should do no keywords in that industry in that occupation that you're applying to and use them in the interview <laughs> be confident say don't say rubbish but even if i mean you 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 are sleeping still be confident you can say oh sorry and say some say the right thing that you want to say and that was it i was super confident and now during the interview i'm talking about this my particular job the lady told me that you're going to come for the second interview i am going to send you an invitation for the second interview the next day i got an invitation for the second interview and i was like okay 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 girl now the second interview was like a week after and i was going to interview with the regional manager at this point i already knew that i was going to get a job because you know you know when you're interviewing and the other person is mirroring the same thing you are doing so let's say i'm talking now and i'm nodding i'm explaining i'm nodding and the other person is keen as you can see the person is paying rapt attention to what you're saying and the person is also nodding then you know that you are doing something right like you are doing something right so I already knew that hmm, this job, I'll most likely get this job. So the second interview, I didn't just relax. I also did more research, did more research, found out more things about the company. Now, 
at this point you've passed the first stage now that i'm going to interview with the regional manager now i have to make them okay for me to get the interview my cv did the work but now that i've gotten to the second stage of the interview you have to make them know why they should pick you over other applicants because this job had over i think 200 to 300 applicants so why are they picking me what do i have that is different so i started working on soft skills yes i know that i know how when it comes to like the job i know what to do i know what to say but i need to make them realize that i'm the best person for the job and i mean i'm a new immigrant remember there are lots of canadians that have applied for this job so i worked on my soft skills this is how to present yourself this is how to say things now when you want to answer an interview question don't just say oh i'm this i worked in this blah 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 give like key points this is what i did this is what i achieved this is a situation this is how i handled the situation this is what my employer said about the situation and this is what the result of what i did in that situation did for me for example let me say um you work in you work in hr administration right you can say okay when i came in into this company the attrition rate was high or let's say the staff turnover that is staff leaving the company was really high but i i sat back i i thought about it came up with different strategies on how to retain our top um employee employees and i came up with one day work from home and i realized that I, I pitched it to the management the management um they agreed to it and i realized that a month after this the staff turnover was reduced by 50 percent i also got um employees were more satisfied with their job like so productivity moved by 50 percent they want to hear these things do you understand what i'm saying don't just say oh i'm charity i got to the company and the the company everybody likes me nobody really cares they want to see what is your track what have you done i hope you understand so you have to take this situation and use it for your own sector and the interview went well one more thing that you should know always send a thank you interview thank you for the interview email <laughs> this thing is also one thing that stood out for me i didn't find out until like one month into my job because I, i'm managing i'm managing some calendars and some emails i saw that the person my employer gongo was really impressed with the fact that i sent a thank you interview email and he sent it he, he, he sent it to the first lady that interviewed me, which was the office manager, and she was like, wow, this is interesting. So she, she sent a thank you interview email, and the lady was like, oh, yeah, I'm, this lady is just so different. That stood out for me. Why? Because I sent a thank you interview email. See, guys, it won't take you five minutes. It, it will not take you five minutes. Write a thank you for the interview. Simple, oh, dear, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for, thank you for interviewing me for the role of blah, 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 blah. I really appreciate this. Thank you for also specifying, um, let's say, the culture of the company. It was really enlightening. To blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Best regards, charity. Simple. It shows professionalism. It shows intentionality. And guys, I did a third interview. In fact, this one's a while I was too much. I did like six interviews. That's to tell you that it was stage by stage by stage because they really wanted to. Why is this girl? why is why is this girl the one for the job soft skills soft skills guys don't play with it i know that you know the technical know-how soft skills will take you there emotional intelligence and um, listening skills you need to know these things so guys that was how i was able to get my job and it's a good paying job like really good paying job right so guys don't make this mistake and how did i do this without canadian experience this is what i was doing in nigeria right so i made sure that on my cv the tasks my job description from nigeria was fantastic i made sure that it showed exactly what i was doing what they are looking for but now when it came to the canadian experience i didn't have this particular canadian experience i was working survival jobs but on that survival jobs, you know that, okay, let's say, for example, now, you're working 
in a manufacturing company. No, let's say you're working in a um, manual labor. You're a manual laborer, right? But in that manual um, labor work that you're doing, you usually write reports. That's administration. Do you understand? That report that you're writing, ah, we have done five cartons today. I've done 20 blocks today. Okay, this person, I, I um, submitted your report to, you, and you submitted that same report, you submitted it to your supervisor. That's administration. But that is administration in labor, in labor work. <laughs> oh, okay, let's say you're even doing constructions. I'm very sure in construction, you people write, okay, we've used kidney come bag of cement. We've used blah, 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 blah. You sign it, you give it to your supervisor. Your supervisor, will do the, you can do a report, you can do a presentation. Oh, instead of us using 15, we use 10. That is administration. So that is what you will not, you, so you don't have to put it there that, oh, you are working as a construction worker. No. Administrative assistant, you put it there and you now, hi, you will highlight the skills that is pertaining to that job role do you understand so if you're working in construction and you do reports you liars with clients you do those soft skills and those things and you put it on your cv you don't have to put construction worker oh i'm working on site i'm carrying block no highlight the particular ones that you know that are in line with the job that you are applying for and that worked for me then also, you see that confidence. And know you see, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved. Study that company. Go online, chat GPT, check how to, how to sound confident in my interview. Interview questions and answers for this particular role. It goes a long way. Because when you're talking, you talk with confidence. Because you know. So there is no question that they want to bring to your table. That you are not really aware of okay even if you're not totally aware but at least you have an idea you know what to say because it's what you know how to do so guys i'm very sure that if you do all of these things you will land a job just the same way i landed a job if i can do it you can do it it took me one day and i'm like yo i'm not doing this survival job again i'm tired I'm not because I wasn't getting shifts. I wasn't earning as much. And you know, when you are doing survival job, sometimes it just affects your mind that is this all I'm good at? Is this what I'm going to continue to do with my life? So one day I said, lie, lie. I'm better than this. And truly, I am better. I was I, I was better than that. I could do better. And now I'm doing better. So if I can do it, you can do it. It just takes that dedication. So let's roll through it again. Revamp your CV. Make sure that you are applying to very recent jobs. Make sure that what is on your CV is exactly what is on the job advert. If they're looking for five years experience, put five years experience in your CV. If they want somebody with Adobe that knows how to use Linux, that knows how to use Python, that knows how to use Adobe Workshop, that knows how to use Microsoft Office, please make sure that you are putting those things on your CV. Don't think for them because a lot of times, these people, they don't have time to... It's the ATS machine. And once it doesn't see what it's looking for, it will screen your CV out. So make sure that your CV is showing what they want. And if you have 60% of what they have, honestly, you can do the job. So just apply. Stop thinking, oh, what if, what if, what if. See, I'm black. I don't have so much Canadian experience. And I got a job. A good paying job. So what's your excuse? really what's your excuse so guys this is how i got my job confidence is key then also prayers ah, i pray though <laughs> i pray though i fasted though let's not lie let's let's talk the truth where the truth is i prayed i really prayed i prayed for the favor of god that god will set me apart for greatness god is going they will see me and they, there's this prayer i pray and I, I would urge you to pray too that they will like my face. They will like my voice. I will be preferred. There is something about me that these employers are looking for and they will choose me. I am the chosen one. These prayers will work wonders. I'm not joking. You guys know I'm a prayer girl. It works wonders. So guys, that was how I got my job in one week. I mean, I got the interview in one week, but I got the whole job in like a month. 
and i've been working there and it's been really nice really really nice so guys that's how i got my job i'm very sure that if you follow these steps i'm i am i am totally sure that you will get your job too so you don't have to continue staying in that survival job thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see you in my next video please like you people know i've shared a lot like please share please subscribe let's channel me subscribe thank you guys i'll see you in my next video Bye-bye.